The reason it's a threat is that, first of all, we're all hugely, deeply dependent upon computer systems and the networks that connect the computer systems in ways that we mostly appreciate, but in a lot of ways that we don't. Every aspect of our lives is, in some sense, touches on and is regulated by and involves the use of computers. What it does mean is this cyber that is so completely part of our day in and day out lives that we are enmeshed with makes us vulnerable by our very use of it and it is easy to attack, it is easy to play with and we, we don't know at any given time how many people are watching, how many people are listening and how many people are stealing. On a day-to-day -day basis, their life has been cyberized, and so we will see state practice in this area. To save Western democracy from terrorism or communism or uh, from other social movements over the last few decades. We can't connect the dots unless we can collect the dots. Um, and that's what we're seeing right now is the, the increasing difficulty to collect the dots. So there are real kind of threats um, that go beyond the surveillance question, which really have to do with the cultural life of these platforms, which do affect what is possible in terms of social interaction, fantasy, play, and freedom online. That's like the essence of the internet from way back, you know, share some files, share some data. If you rely on public interest journalism, if you think that whistleblowers exposing corruption are important, even if you are not one of those yourself. If you believe that people should have a right to demonstrate against uh, fossil fuel developments, uranium mines whaling uh, without sort of being arbitrarily surveilled and punished by the state, uh, then we actually all have a stake in these things. It's very, very important um, for, for common people to participate in this debate, to become more digitally literate, um, to understand how technology is shaping our lives, and to tell our elected officials uh, that these issues are very, very important to us. When someone says, don't worry, it's only metadata, what they're really saying is, don't worry, you're just under constant surveillance.